Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to start off by saying that I'm extremely sorry for not uploading. I know it's been forever since my last update video, but I'm back. Let me first start by giving you guys an update on what's been going on. So I finished all my exams in late March and then I just spontaneously decided to move out of my state and uh, go out During the time of my moving and everything, I decided to put a pause on my externship. So uh, before you start the externship, they actually allow you to, you know, take a break for a while until you're all like settled down and ready to start the externship. So after I settled in my new home, I updated my externship coordinator through Animal Behavior College and told them that I'm ready to start my externship. And almost like a week or a week and a half later, they found me a site and I was able to go and interview with them. All right, so I just left the um, place that I'm doing my internship at and it all went really well. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because I know like in the state that I'm at or I guess even nationwide, like there's like a shortage going on with um, like veterinary assistants and veterinary technicians and even veterinarians too, she was telling me. Um, but the lady was super sweet and uh, I didn't even get like an interview uh, question asked. Uh, it was just kind of discussing the program and it, it just all went like really well. I'm super excited. To I've been in the externship for about three weeks now, almost a month, and it's been going very great. Um, the first couple days I was just kind of shadowing and now I'm more like, you know, able to like restrain animals and help people out. The people there are extremely nice. Um, I have a vet tech that is my supervisor, I guess you would say, <laughs> that's in charge of showing me everything that's required for the externship. What I mean by that is that the externship actually gives you a checklist on what to do. So I'll go ahead and insert a clip of that. They have all the different sections that you learned of through the textbooks and you're kind of expected to know them during the job. So I'm just going to answer a few questions that have been left on my previous videos. First question is, how has it been so far? And it's been extremely great. I am happy every time I'm at the clinic. Next question is, how legit it is? The program is pretty legit. I would say, though, that, you know, the kind of online look that they have to their website it looks kind of sketchy <laughs> i'm not gonna lie but it's extremely legit and then you are you know it's n-a-v-t-a accredited so there you go <laughs> so the next question is how hard is it so i'm gonna kind of base this off you know the program in half so the first beginning i guess not beginning program so the first portion, which is the, you know, taking all the exams, reading the textbook material, I would say that that's pretty easy. Um, it is a lot of like load work on the material and stuff. They go into every single detail. So that way, you know, everything is like described really good for you. As far as the externship portion of the program goes, I find it to be, you know, pretty, pretty good. Um, not extremely easy, but not extremely hard. It's kind of in, in the middle there because you are, you know, they're helping out. So you gotta know how to do those like, basic tasks that are gonna be asked of you as a veterinary assistant. The next question is how long the program takes to complete. So already this August, I guess it would be a year coming up on how long I've been in the program. I did want to say though that it's not going to be a year for all of you guys if you are interested in enrolling to Animal Behavior College. It's just that take into consideration that I started this program being a full-time student at my local university 
and as well as taking like a three month break from uh, starting the internship because I was moving. So it's definitely gonna take a lot shorter time. It all kind of depends on how long you take to finish all the exams, which again, uh, they're all at your own pace. They do have deadlines, which are monthly almost all the time, but you can finish some earlier. The next question is, do they give you any hands-on experience? So unfortunately, no, it's all, you know, textbook material. So you're just kind of trying to picture things um, as they're like written down, you know, <laughs> uh, like for example, like they do like list out like every step for if you're going to like restrain a patient or administer something. So you can kind of like read each step and like picture how you're doing it. Um, they also do incorporate some images on showing you like how it would look like hands-on. Um, I find YouTube to be, you know, like the perfect study buddy because you can just look up some videos on like, you know, restraining methods or just some information on how to do it hands-on and there's already people that have videos put up for you if you're confused about anything. Next question, do they have teachers to answer any of your questions yes they do so once you begin the program you are contacted by an advisor and that advisor is gonna be you know your best bud throughout the course they're gonna update you on um, every section what to kind of like expect and then they will go over your grades if you need to and they're basically just there to answer you at any time. If you guys would like to learn more about my journey through Animal Behavior College Veterinary Assistant Program, please go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and comment if you have any questions. I'll go ahead and try to get back to you as soon as I can.